Hi everyone and welcome to my Deus Ex Mankind Divided Challenge Playthrough. That's how we're gonna call it. You're gonna see me selecting the difficulty. That's permadeath for you. I never asked for this. Um, I never asked for this works with uh, Give Me Deus Ex difficulty. So it is still Deu Give Me Deus Ex difficulty which is the highest difficulty in the game but it only allows you to die once so you know, permadeath. We have done those. But this time this is going to be considered more of a permadeath walkthrough. And I didn't want to call it permadeath walkthrough. But it is actually what it is. Because um, I went through the game. I went through the difficult parts of the game several times. Uh, and I devised strategies for you not to die. Did, can this still fail when you're doing it? Of course it can. But my objective here is to give you strategies and ways to circumvent uh, certain difficult levels, uh, all levels actually, so uh, you can succeed in achieving uh, permadeath uh, trophy or achievements or whatever. And also we're going to do uh, no a challenge playthrough, so it's fun uh, for the people who are not actually trying to do something like this. So, for the permadeath I'm going to limit myself with no alarms, so no alarms uh, will be triggered thro throughout the whole playthrough, no one will see me as well. Um, this will be a non-lethal playthrough, which the uh, trophy or achievement is called Pacifist, you will also get that one, which is uh, not killing any anyone including the boss fight the single boss fight I'm gonna talk about that in a minute um, no augments that's uh, no augmentations uh, and the only augmentations that you're actually going to see me using is in this video alone because because uh, this is the intro uh, mission in Dubai uh, and you're going to see me using the Icarus uh, landing system and that's the only thing that you're gonna see me using in the, in the in the entire playthrough, and I'm going to be using that just because if I don't, I will have to take um, an elevator down at the last part, which is actually a part that you have to hurry. And if you hurry, you're gonna get a trophy for saving uh, Asian Singh, and if you don't save him, you're not gonna get the trophy. Uh, I believe that I took the elevator like three or four times and I never could arrive uh, at time to save him. So I'm only using the Icarus system guys so you can actually get the trophy, you can see that uh, uh, you have to hurry up. So that's the only time in the entire playthrough that you will see me use any augmentation. So for all intents and purposes I'm like a human. I, I don't have any augmentations. This is this is like a, you know. Oh, by the way, this key code that I'm going to put now also gives you a trophy, so you might as well use it if you want to. Uh, I already mentioned that we're playing on Give Me Deus X and Permadeath, so highest difficulty that is available. And now I'm going to talk a little about the game while you see me go through the this whole mission um i love the I, I love the game i love it i think the gameplay of this uh deus x is uh, perfect i think uh the stealth mechanics are uh i wouldn't say 10 10 but i, I would say 9 out of 10 uh for stealth mechanics uh, is really really fun to play um and to still through like this is a this is a true uh, game for uh, doing a challenge like what I'm doing here uh, because it's really really fun there are some augmentations uh, that can break the game uh, for example the most notorious one is see I'm gonna use Icarus landing here as well um, uh, the most notorious one is um, the cloak, the cloak augmentation kind of ruins what the stealth mechanics try to try to do for you, because it, you can just get past any kind of security. Uh, you can get past lasers, you can get past enemies with no problems whatsoever. Um, 
if they are about to see you, you, you can just activate cloak and and and, and then, then you you'll get past them. See, you can you can get past any fucking security, uh, and it kind of ruins this. See, distracting enemies with objects, uh, getting on out of their cone of view, uh, or on doing some neat stuff that the game actually allows you to do, and hopefully I'm I, I'm gonna show you. So I'm not I'm not actually telling you not to use augmentations this is a limitation that I put on myself to make it more fun to see uh, but um, you should definitely get a cloak uh, you should definitely get the new augmentations which are really cool especially the dash I don't remember the name of it I'll just call it dash it's like a blink in the sonar it's, it's dash or blink whatever it's the same one um, uh, the thing that I want to talk about is something that kind of pissed me off uh, and it's kind of like a waste of potential with this game um, and it's the story and I think the story is, uh, is, sh is shit actually I, I was just gonna use a, 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 a like a, a less be a less bitter world but it's fucking shit the story is shit and the fact that we are once again doing kinda the same thing that we were doing in human revolution kinda offended me like personally uh, I don't understand why they went this way I, I human revolution and then ended first of all human revolution has a better ending than this game way 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 better this game has a better understanding of the of the stealth mechanics. They they work far far better in this one than Human Revolution. But Human Revolution understood the story uh, quite better. It's it set the ground for something quite epic that could Listen we up, could everybody. be actually doing in here, and uh, like infiltrating the Illuminati headquarters or infiltrating the Majestic Twelve headquarters or infiltrating area 51 or infiltrating you know cool places and s really secret places uh, infiltrating uh, I don't know some fucking ocean secret base like rapture so ocean secret base or a fucking I don't know a moon base we travel to the moon and we infiltrate a base on the moon I don't know fucking weird conspiracy fucking shit and we d we do none of that. We do none of that. We the things that we do in this game is basically the same thing that we did on Human Revolution. Something happens at the beginning of the game, which is what happens here in the first mission, and we carry this story through the the entire fucking ga rest of the game. Yes, sometimes it gets a little more interesting when Adam actually talks about the Illuminati or stuff like that. But it's touched lightly. Like, there is so much wasted potential for a cool conspiracy uh, story here. And we don't even infiltrate places that are actually really cool to infiltrate, like we, we did on Human Revolution. It doesn't even happen here. We infiltrate shit places. Like, some of them are cool. Yes, some of them are really cool. We, we don't get that, you know, okay, it's time to infiltrate the Illuminati, right? It's tied to infiltrate uh, fucking FEMA Jets facility like even. I don't know, something something weird and big like the fucking, well, I don't know, the, the White House. I don't know, something sh weird and conspiracy and, and, and we don't do any of that. And I found that so fucking disgusting, like they wasted the stories. They had five fucking years, guys, to create a better story than Human Revolution and they created a worse one like they, they hit everything fucking right with the gameplay the gameplay is better, it's mostly the same like in Human Revolution but it's, it's better, don't get that like a like a criticism, it's better the gameplay is truly better than in Human Revolution but the story wow, it's so fucking failure dude it's, it, it, of course it's in my opinion right but it's such a fucking failure it's such a big big fucking piece of trash that I can't believe it and the question here quickly comes to my mind like where are we going because 
we ended Human Revolution with a with a high note. Like we fucked up with the Illuminati now. Now we're gonna we're gonna and, and Adam kind of said I'm going to Adam like said I'm going to get the Illuminati now. I'm going to I'm going to go against the source of all of this shit. And then at the beginning of this game, we're working for a ter anti-terrorist group which has not any tie uh, whatsoever to the Illuminati. Uh, we find out that we had been unconscious for a, for a fucking month, was it? I think it was a full month, somewhere in Alaska. And we did none of that shit. And throughout this whole game, spoilers, we do none of that. We, we, we don't get fucking... In infiltrated in any type of Illuminati compound or, or whatever the, the game don't get me wrong the game does have uh, some beautiful environments and some some great art it, it truly has some cool level design but story wise story wise in my opinion it fails completely to hit the notes that a Deus Ex uh, should be hitting which is full conspiracy and weird bases, you know, and 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 cool bosses. We, I'm gonna talk about the bosses in the next video, guys, because that's another failure to me. Uh, so, this was the first mission, Dubai, completely ghosted, and uh, with all the limitations that I mentioned in the beginning of the game, which will they will be in on the description on every video. Thank you for watching. And take care.